Hello everyone and welcome to Oxen Free. Now at the end of last year when I asked for recommendations of what I should play for the channel, this was a game that came up again and again. And in fact, I think it came up more than any other. This was the most highly requested game. So it was just a matter of time before I got around to playing it and I think now is as good a time as any. If you're unfamiliar with Oxen Free, like I am really, I think it was described to me as a 2D supernatural story rich thriller that I think is part puzzle game, part platformer, part side-scroller, part coming-of-age story between a group of teenagers who explore an island when weird shit starts to occur, essentially. Uh, I don't really know what this game is about, but there is one really good solution to that problem, and that is, of course, to play the game. So that's what I'm going to do. So, really do hope you enjoy it. This is Oxen Free. Yes, please. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this <laughs> little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey! Still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. All right. Oh, I'm in control. I didn't realize. Uh, Mission uh, control to Alex. No. This is Big Papa. I'm listening. I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss, I uh, can see and hear things at the same time. Something about cookies, right? Something, something, cookies, or whatever. <laughs> Perfect. You're right on the money. Okay. So you all moved in? Um, not... Not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait, what happened? I think I like I the controls. Like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens and he thought she worked there and blah blah blah, they hit it off. Aww, that's downright adorable. Hmm. <laughs> And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what? Does that make you to her, then? Hey, uh, second cousin? No, yeah, he's, uh, he's meant to be my stepbrother, that's right. He's for. my stepbrother. Oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool. Uh, who's the... Nope. Uh, who's driving Didn't this? mean to interrupt him, That's really. Let's see, Captain Karen. She's doing us a favor. You'll notice we're the only ones doing the voyage. How you doing up there, Karen? Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess yeah, what's up with that? Does no one normally go there at night? Nobody really lives there, so no. And Karen's not going to mind that we're spending the night. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato <laughs> blocks. Stop, stop. <laughs> ah, Ren, why are you even talking about this? <laughs> it's humorous, right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. Passengers, we'll be arriving soon. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. <laughs> Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on... Fine, just hold the camera out. Like, far. I don't look my freshest right now. It's true, Jonas. This is like B minus Alex. Just for your uh, calibration. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah. Oh, we're Jonas. moving now? Okay. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero. It means oppressor? Maybe. Jonas. It means oppressor, right? Yeah, but I mean, my sign's cancer, and it's not like my hair's falling out or anything. And you know a crap. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. Yeah, okay. There, hmm. great. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Right. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Uh, uh, I guess, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? 
Possibly? Uh, yes, apparently so, yeah. There's the little guy. Just like that. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. Cool. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So, tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Oh, okay. 88.3. All right. Give me a sec. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh... Oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. What a name. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. We must be getting close. There's no Sounds radio like it. reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. Oh, if right. we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Yeah, why is that a thing? Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Okay. I guess we will, right? Okay. I think I might be taking a sort of back seat on this one. It seems like there's a lot of talking going on and I don't really want to interfere or interrupt what's going on between the characters. So, uh, yeah, I, I guess I'll just chip in when there's nothing being said for the most part. Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... <laughs> Alex, yeah. you can bum one off me if you're empty. Oh, uh, no thanks. I don't smoke. The last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends? Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. Okay. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up with them. Uh, it's like a buddy system. Let's hear about so it. Let's... No, it's, it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and I we'll do think choices here. matter in this game. Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. <laughs> Thanks, man. Okay. I'll just be up the hill in case... whatever. So, uh, what's going Ren on? Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, he's... <sighs> Look, just what did you want to talk to me about before I suspect something nefarious? Mm. No, it's nothing. It's not bad. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. Okay. Not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons. Lemonade. However that goes. <laughs> An optimist. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Yeah, I'm an optimist, and proud of it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement that was in my Mike's house, room. so this is... Yeah, no problem. Anytime. I like that you can see the speech bubbles fading away, so you, you don't necessarily get a lot of time to pick responses and stuff. What the hell? I heard, um, I think from my mom that you, uh... Went to jail? Yeah, well, don't believe everything you hear. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Okay. Well, let's go then. Yeah. Uh, so there's a ferry sign here. So just press A. When the flag yeah. is flying, we are funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. <laughs> right. Okay, maybe I need to get my eyes checked. Or maybe the sign is just wrong. Uh, we've got an information center here. Kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy. Yeah, it's like a quiche. Don't suppose we can go in, can we? Doesn't seem like it, no. Um, 
All right, I guess I'll just look out for these white circles. This is what I can interact with. Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure, either one. Hmm, take your pick. Okay, uh, well, I guess, what was his name? Ren went up. Hold on, there's a car here, though. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. <laughs> well, I can't use it again, so I guess we're not breaking in. Not this time. Alright, up we go then, I suppose. Yeah, I think there's like two or three more people we have to meet, because I think it's a group of five or six in this game. Okay, there's a statue here. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, but 102.3? Uh, okay, sure. I think they oh. said it's 102.3. Right, I, I didn't realize we could just pull this out when we wanted to. Here we go. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941 and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? Yeah. I hate thinking about it. It reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Is that it? Was launched on January I think it's repeating itself, so I guess that's it. Right, okay. Uh, any other frequencies we can tune into? What was the other one? 88.3? Nah, not getting a signal. Just like Ren said we wouldn't, I suppose. Yeah, just that one. Okay. Cool. Well, let's put that away, I suppose. What's up here? Can we go inside? The Parks office. Parks and facilities office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, alright. Okay. I guess I figured he likes tall girls. Man, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. That's true. <laughs> but I want to shut- Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. <laughs> we are here to drink and be stupid. A tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wait, how'd they pull that? Isn't, like, security an important thing in military bases? Yes, you would think. but apparently the desire to have cheap sex with floozies will overcome all borders. It's the American way. The beaten path officially ends here. Right. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's... Oh, right, so we do actually have a map. That's pretty neat. Okay, so, yeah, we're at, uh, we're at Main Street. Ah, so we see the character icons. Yeah, there's two more people to meet, it looks like, and they're on Discovery Cliffs. Sure. Pretty big place, actually. Okay. And yeah, 102.3. I'll try and tune into that every now and then, just to just to make sure that I'm not missing anything, you know? It's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. Well, look. There must be something. I mean, Jerry got over. Mm. Yeah, exactly. So, to summarize, ah. we are not allowed here... I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll... budge. Well, let's try it. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. Thanks for the help, Brent. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Wait, we're not allowed here after dark? So, like, what's our plan if we get caught? We won't. I had to promise Karen I'd shovel her driveway all winter so she'd just look the other way. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. And they're impossible. No, there must be some kind of logical explanation. Like, like the rocks are somehow able to conduct lower frequencies or pick up broadcasts from further away or something. Hmm. Or it's aliens. Could so be. Back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? 
Her family, I think, like, owns or owned some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call a local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. I can't imagine living in the same exact house, looking at the same exact walls for that long a time. Well, it takes a certain someone. And actually, you know what? Speaking of the opposite of those certain someones, drum roll please. Jonas, <laughs> did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so don't get too used to her. All right, so what if I am? I don't know. So what if you are? I guess it's nothing. No big deal. I just, if you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. What, yeah, what, what, That's my what do you mean? Speech. What the hell does that mean? Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. Do what you want. Forget I said anything. Okay. Thank you. I will. Thanks so much for bringing me out, you guys. <laughs> I can tell I'm going to have a really good time. We, um, we don't normally bicker so much. I assume. Yes, normally I just agree with whatever she says. So this is unusual. <laughs> all right. Is that it then? Conversation over? Okay. So, um, yeah, I noticed that it was sort of going into widescreen mode or something. We're getting some uh, black bars, so I guess something's going to happen, or like a cutscene will start when we when we do this. Didn't want to interrupt anything. Right, yeah, there you go. It's a loading screen. Right, yeah, uh, this game seems to be a little bit like a walking simulator at the moment, or, well, maybe a bit more like a talking simulator. I'm definitely going to take a back seat, but I'm enjoying it so far. That isn't necessarily a bad oh, thing. Uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> oh, uh, there you that? go. That's so. There's this girl, Nona. Right. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me. So just you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything. All right? <laughs> Deal. Ren, relax. Oh, and okay, Jonas. Now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tails or something? Uh, it was nothing, really. Just leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't- Reginald, oh. I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, there I was you saying, go. There they are. I was about to tell a story. What was it? Down here? About Brad's car? Oh, yeah. well, that can wait. Yeah, wait for him to get to the bottom so I don't kick him in the face. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. <laughs> He's Alex's new Short in memory? town, fresh as the daisy, stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? <laughs> Babysitting. Uh, uh, yep. That's cool. Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Yes. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. It's usually how it works. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <laughs> Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Ah. There's nobody else coming. We're it. What? Clarissa, so we <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother. <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, come on, don't be mean. This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> Who said I'm not having any fun? I'm having fun. This is like friggin' Candyland right now. Wait, aren't you all like friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to like a creepy neighbor. And you, Ouch. I just met. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting the picture now. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20 deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on their... We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yeah. Yeah, the beach, island stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm an optimist. Okay. I'm not missing anything. Let's hope not. We're going to the beach. Yeah, okay. So we've got an interesting cast of characters, and the more I play, the more invested I feel. Yeah, okay. 
Still waiting for, you know, the weird shit to start happening, I suppose, but shouldn't have to wait too long, I wouldn't have thought. Nice. Fire! Man's great equalizer. <laughs> so, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than, obviously, go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. <laughs> well, I'm up for pretty much whatever, so... Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. All right. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And Fair enough. Sometimes Sounds play good. Truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. Truth or we slap. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. Fair point. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Unless you lie a lot. Yeah. And huh? it's just a good hitting game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. <laughs> All right. Fair let's enough. Just get on with it. Okay. So. First, we're gonna... I'll start. Ren. Uh huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa. Mm, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I good one. Hear his answer. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh man, you're good at this. <laughs> well, if being good means being kind of mean about it. Maybe a little. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like. Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods. Now no, just face it. I, I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's. I just like her as a friend. That's that's all. <laughs> She's cool. She's. Ooh, She's just a friend. He's lying. Oh, yeah, right. But I don't think I'm going to okay. say that. Thank you, Clarissa. This All was... right. Great. Let's just move on. Okay. It's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! Brilliant. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. No, that's okay. <laughs> I just have to think about which nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Bring it on. Oh, please. Shoot. I can take it. Okay. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. I what? barely know any of you. <laughs> it's uh, fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Fine. Why, thank you. Well, I think I'd marry you, actually. We know each other the best, so not a lot of surprises there. No. Perfect. Stay at home, husband. <laughs> and okay, then, just to piss you off, I'd screw <laughs> Nona. <laughs> Nona. She seems like she'd be present and giving, unlike some people here. Hey, I'm present. I wouldn't lose my place or nothing. Scout's honor. Oh god, this is such a horrible turn. <laughs> Which, of course, means that you'd strangle Clarissa in her sleep if you ever got the chance. What a shocker. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh yeah. Sorry, it, it just worked out that way, I swear. Yes, yeah, I, swear. I mean, why would you have any control over the words and thoughts coming out of your face? God damn. Hey now, you can't control a sneeze. And I think this falls more in the realm of bodily function. Hmm. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great, here we go. Here What's we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the platypus man? It's gotta be her, hasn't it? Clarissa. Oh, boy. Mm. Yes, Mum? This is pretty fun just watching, I'll admit. Yeah. Well, wait. Go on, then. Do you like anyone? Like, like, like anyone? There's no one in school worth liking now. Come on. Ouch. Damn. So, no, I don't. But nice try. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. Okay. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um, fine with it, really. Is there, like, a question coming or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably going to get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad, so let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I, don't, I don't really need to know the situation before. Clarissa, Jonas is fine. He's not a scared puppy. None of that matters. Well, let's hear why your parents got a divorce in the first place, and we'll see if it matters. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just oh. that Alex's mom is happy oh, now. Oh, okay. But how can we be sure unless... You know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it the end well hmm. now you know jonas 
Don't die and everything will be fine. <laughs> okay, Clarissa. <laughs> Words to live by, I guess. You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Yeah. Wait, let's... Let's not stop like this. We should like- Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Wow. Maybe we could And get... that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Yeah, what is going on here? Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Just what did we- What did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? <laughs> nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. So... Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt are playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Right. <sighs> Whatever. So she's like the bitchy one of the group, I well, guess? I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Oh. So, let's see. Oh. Oh, I guess if I go up these steps right now, I go to the Adler Estate. That's the woman who just died, like, three days ago. Huh. Well, I think there actually was an option, like, of maybe checking out her house. I don't know if I can still do that. Okay, come on. Yeah. Let's maybe check this again? out. It's a small town near North Valley. Wait. Oh, yeah. So what Is are they nice? doing? If you like bars on the windows. Oh, they're going. Oh, I see they're going over that fence. Hold up, hold up. Can I come with? Alex, or you want to check out the caves or? Go on then. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. We'll, uh, we'll get to the Adler estate later on, perhaps. Come on, I'll push <laughs> you over. Oh, oh, I forgot. Whenever never you're talked ready. About John. Oh, what, so, your date? the cave. That was weird. What's your bet? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? Um, let's see. Maybe 5? Hmm, probably a 5. Weird enough to remember, but not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> alright. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, uh... Eh, it's not your fault. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Thanks for, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. It was pretty I didn't tempting. I think you would, but, you know, you could've and you didn't, so mm. thanks. Yeah, Ren, about Nona. What? Did she say anything? Because if she said anything, you should tell me. Like, word for word. She didn't say much, really. Uh, I don't know. What do you like about her anyway? I, uh... I don't know. I just think she's hot. And cute. And right. I don't know. I she's cool, that's all. I, I just like her whole vibe. Now, hmm, who's okay. ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am Me me me. Oh wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Oh, Brown you're the only one? Gimme. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh no. These are just for me. I've been waiting a long time for this. I'm not gonna yeah. marry you, I'm gonna Maybe kill you. Maybe it's best he's the test balloon for this anyway. Maybe. Hmm. Delicious. Down the hatch it goes. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? Is this why there's the weirdness because of him? Leave them here so you know where to try and tune in the signals. Oh, right, 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 yeah, So you're yeah. gonna want to stand basically right around here. Okay. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. Well... How will we know when it's... You'll know. I'm getting Morse Trust code. Me. I don't know too much Morse so code. I know like SOS radio. and stuff, that's about it. Any day. Hey, I, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Just While haven't going, found please. it. Oh, hold on. Oh, I see the numbers actually Seriously, changing Alex, color as we get closer to this rock tuning. pile. They're red now. Okay, let's try over here. Still the Morse code. Whoa! Something around 105. Holy crap! The hell? Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. How... how is this... how can this be possible? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then. Cause I don't know. Ah, if you move around, it's right it over here now. Too, I think. Like, 
Over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. That's what I'm doing. Way ahead of you. Here we go. A beam of light again. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're fine where they are. Okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? Hmm. Oh. Is that right? She dated Michael for five seconds like three years ago. That explains a little a bit, I guess. It was a couple of months, a year and a half ago. Hmm, okay. Uh... <sighs> she should just seriously get over it already. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... <sighs> Brownies are kicking in. <sighs> Did that make sense? Yeah, I think so. Kind of? <laughs> I got it. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. Right. Yeah. So, it's it's red. It's red numbers we're looking out for, I guess, for the weirdness. Oh, here we go, 107 now. God, it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... Spooky. <laughs> Satanic, yeah. Satanic. Not what I was going to say, but close enough. Wait, what was that? That's not me this time. Oh, hold on. There's like... Where's he going? This is going to sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last words. I called it. Uh, yeah, what is that? I'm sure there is something in there, like... A giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. I can't or climb up, unfortunately. Kind of looks like a pool or something, like a freshwater one, maybe. All right. Let's check it out. It's not that far in. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. If it's a pool, that'd be cool. I um didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> cool pool. Yeah. Okay. Fortune favors the bold. And off he goes. <laughs> well, hang on. Wait. Wait a minute! Jonas! Well, I am going to just rest against you. Oh, here we go, here we go. Because I think... Shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. <laughs> oh, fair enough. I think what? you mean brown. Ah, oh, I didn't realise there was more of the conversation. Ah, oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there's a, there's, a, there's a neat collection of characters. They're all kind of interesting. They all seem to be really quite complex and... Well, we're just getting started. I, I do want to see where this goes. Right. So I guess, I don't know, is it an, like an hour per chapter or something in this game? Is that how it works? Uh, where's the pool? And where's Jonas? Oh, look at that. Got my own little flashlight from my phone, I guess. Yeah. Jonas, where are you? Well, let's go find him. Oh, can I cl- Ah, oh, yeah, I see, I can climb this. And uh, I guess the bit at the top left as well. He came through here? Damn, he works fast. I wasn't that far behind him. Huh. Okay, just squeeze through here, drop down. I can do that, surely. Yeah, that works. So, weird. I should be pulling this out more often, I think. Are we getting anything? See, the numbers are white now, so I don't think I actually get anything weird. No. I guess we are inside a cave. Maybe it's not the best place to receive any signals. Um, yeah. Well, let's just see how deep this cave goes. Come on, that's it. You got it. It's a neat looking game, actually. I do like the visuals. I like the sound as well. It's all pretty sort of mellow and chilled out, relaxed for the most part, and then there's some synth and like vaporwave stuff in there as well, it seems like. Yeah, it's nice. And yeah, as I've just proved, you don't need to actually use any of the conversation things all the time. You can just go along in silence. Maybe I should have called out for him, though, I don't know. It is a bit weird that I haven't seen him yet. This cave is huge. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to be that big. Now, there's something down there, and hopefully it's not the body of Jonas. Not exactly um, a very good start to our relationship. Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here? Or a pen? Why wouldn't you? I don't know. Is this the pool in the foreground? Okay, we can go even further. Well, 
What's that? See a man about... See a man about a Oh, there he is! See a man about a dog. Sure, will do. Well, looks like Jonas is okay. Just having a look around. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, I scared you? You scared me. I had no idea where you were. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here, but you know, obviously there isn't. But isn't mm. this place incredible? I mean, I don't even know how this how this happens. It's crazy. No, it's uh, it's beautiful. Sort of. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? Not really. Kinda? Sounds like someone tuning into a radio from. like me. I guess it stopped. <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. Uh, go on then. Well, seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. Yeah, and I mean, look, if it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. Sounds reasonable. Okay. Uh, follow me, I guess. I'm just looking out for uh, weird signals now. Wow. All those crystals. Oh. Looks like I can look at the crystals. Or the cave walls, yeah. Like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? I don't know. What the hell? Pockets of it are cold, but not all of it. What? Wow, how is that? Did, did you see the floating, um, triangle light? Thing? What? No, where? Oh yeah, I do. It's like what? in the the air, right there. It, it must be like a like a rainbow or like a reflection of light. Those um exist, right? <laughs> um, cave triangle rainbows. Uh, maybe. <laughs> Until last week, I hadn't heard about parrotfish either. So I guess anything's possible. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there and the, um, what am I trying to say? I, I think that you tuned in this little guy somehow. I think it's all the same thing. Really? Really? You think? Definitely. Okay. Try a radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Give me a moment. I just want to have a look at this. Maybe, um, later. Apart from the, um, triangle, this is honestly the craziest thing in here. Like. How did it even get in? And I mean, aside from some like water damage, it's not really even that junky. I know. And then there's more of this graffiti. Saw the man, but not the dog. Saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? <laughs> A guy who can't see dogs? Yeah. Did you see the first half? See a man about a dog? Yeah, I don't get it either. Okay, well we've had a look at pretty much everything here now, so let's get this out because there's obviously something very weird going on here. I'm hoping we're going to tune into Alex, something. Alex, really, I want to see what it's going to do. Yeah, we're getting closer. It's getting redder. Somewhere over here. Let's see. I don't know. What frequency? Oh, the controller rumbles like mad. It's crazy. There you go. Are you going to make... Oh my god. Is this... Are you... Is this... You? Are you doing this? I... Yeah... I think. Uh... I... I think? Okay, it, it's... It's staying. But... Oh, no, it's rumbling again. Here we go. Oh, God, what am I doing? What am I, I doing? Even, like... What is... What? I... I know, I... I Gosh! Know. <laughs> Go on, let's keep going. Just waiting for more rumblings, really. No, nothing here. What are those beams of light? Here we go! 91! 91. 91. Oh, it's the triangle. What have I just done? Uh... Jonas? What? Uh... Hello? This is insane. Yes, it is. Uh, who... 
Are, are you... Who are you on the... Listen. Bob Tail. Shame. Tail. Sleeping. Time. Time. Down. Is. Possible. It's like lots of audio recordings just spliced together. That's so odd. Sure? Um, yeah. Sure. Leave possible. Bob Tail. Leave, children. Bye. See you soon. Alex! What's going on? What? 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 What, we're underwater now? What was this? The bottom of the ocean? What? What was that? What? Well, don't... Don't leave it there! Alright, yeah, the more I play, the, the weirder this gets, the more I want to continue. This is interesting. It wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned... <laughs> stop, stop. Use keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. Thanks for the help, no, Ren. No, no, no. And I'm downgrading Ren to like a creepy neighbor. And you Ouch. I just met. <laughs> <laughs> this is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. Fair point. Don't die and everything will be fine. <laughs> okay, Clarissa. <laughs> Words to live by, I guess. These are just for me. <sighs> I've been waiting a long time for this. I'm not gonna yeah. marry you, I'm gonna Maybe kill you. Something around 105. The hell? Are you okay? <laughs> Jesus, you scared me. Are you doing this? I... Yeah, I think. What's going on? What? 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 